The case study from Sandiford is about how a group of local managers and local clinicians working in a particular service decided to go out and actually find out from local people whether this service was really meeting their needs. Uh, and they're going back and redesigning the way in which they do everything from how they engage with service users, the services they feel they can offer them, uh, as well as re uh, uh, designing the whole way in which all the staff of the service have been refocused on the needs of patients. The history of Sandiford is quite an interesting one because we brought together from really the 1990s on was a plan to integrate a range of services within Glasgow that were addressing sexual health, reproductive health and women's health that were previously delivered in different parts of the NHS. So we had family planning and reproductive health which was one service which had a number of clinics and a central site. We had genitourinary medicine that had a number of clinics within hospital settings and we had the Centre for Women's Health we brought together a group of people to think about how we could deliver services differently um, and that meant literally moving services from the sites they'd been in, moving staff from different trusts that they were in and obviously supporting clients through a whole range of change processes where services would be delivered in a completely different way. One of the tenets of, of the Sandiford was that it should look at the other social determinants of health and we should try and look at individuals in a holistic way. That's vital really that we can, we're, we're not just seeing uh, people as, as patients coming from a medical intervention or coming for a sexual health service, whatever that might be, but actually we're looking at them as whole people. Yes, there's a range of possibilities for everybody that comes into Sandiford. If somebody comes in and says, I just want to get a pregnancy test or I am just worried because I may have had unprotected sex at the weekend, then that's absolutely fine. I mean, clearly that's a clinical issue that needs to be addressed. But I think what we would even feel for that group of people is that they're being exposed by the very environment. It's a very open environment. It has lots of information. It has lots of triggers to other services, even visually. The staff always have to be very aware that for what always what a client comes in and ticks in the box to see what they're coming in for may not always be what they're really coming in for. The listening ear um, service, which is quite unique um, within the NHS, um, is an open door service which is available for men, women and young people and it's a chance for them to come and talk confidentially with somebody. We would then say well what else can we do to make sure that right from the point that you decide to contact Sandiford through to when you leave the, the service that we've done everything we can to help you. One of the reasons why I think it's been very important for us to know our users and that's been about the user engagement work, it's been about the way we engage with people within a clinical room, within a clinical setting. It's been about looking at are there other things we can do that isn't being done elsewhere that would be appropriate and that might be useful to those people. And it's not about duplicating services or thinking, oh, it can only be us that can do that. It's about saying, well, there might be an unmet need here. But certainly training is very, very important here at Sandyford. I mean, that's a key element as well. And one of the important things at Sandyford, it's not just um, clinical training, it's not just about the, the obvious stuff you would expect to happen here. It's about making sure that staff from all areas of the service are involved and that the types of training we're delivering sort of support that social model approach as well. I think in, in the whole it's, it's made our service better and much improved. All our staff are, you know, not just doctors and nurses, but all the clerical staff are now more aware of what our service provides. It's probably evolved organically and that we learn things and things change as a response to situations. But I also think there was an element in the planning where this was always really what we hoped would happen. Our service users last year, for example, were 140,000, which is pretty significant across all our sites. What we've tried to do year upon year is respond to that constant change of client focus and demand and respond to what their journey through services and what their needs are. If you don't keep responding to that, I think people get a fossilised service which isn't really in their best interest. Managers in Partnership supports innovation and partnership working in healthcare. Where something works well, we want to tell people about it so the public everywhere can benefit.